Hi everyone, what's up? Thank you so much for being here. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jessie, and today we are going to do another DIY tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and start. And of course, I really love taking you guys every time I'm buying something, if you guys notice that, because I feel like you guys are my friends, and we're like having a girl time, and we are going to get everything that we need for this DIY. So. First thing that we need is an LED rope light. So if you are on that area wherein there's like a lot of lamps, a lot of lights, then you are in the right place. Now I have decided to invest a little bit with my rope light and that is only because I do YouTube every freaking day. So the cost of my rope light is $29, but you can always go to Walmart or go to Amazon so you can buy something cheaper. And the whole reason of me buying something a little bit expensive is because I want something that is heavy duty. I want something that will last me for many, 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 many years because I can see myself doing this for like the rest of my life. Now on to the next item that we have to get is of course the zip tie so that we can lock the LED rope in place with a wreath and this is also the place that I'm going to get my wreath as well. So before even going to the um, arts, arts and crafts thingy, we were able to go to the hardware one where all of the zip ties are at. So I decided to get the 11 inches and the white one of course. I got mine for $2.97 and they are a lot in one pack and the reason why is because in our house we do have a lot of cords that are just dangling around so I'm thinking that you know I'm gonna zip tie them so they look neat and nice and so the dogs won't you know play with it. Moving on to the arts and crafts aisle and this is where we are going to get our wreath so obviously this is going to be our base by the way i didn't invent this diy this diy has been in the beauty community for like a really 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 long time and when i was modeling back in the day i could see some people and makeup artists have this so yeah that's where i got the idea from so basically i'm just adding a little bit of tweaks on mine since mine is just a little expensive actually not just a little expensive mine is ridiculously expensive but you guys get the picture it's still cheaper compared when you are buying like the actual ring light because sometimes it may cost you like 150 and the lowest amount that you can make a diy ring light is around 25 dollars. so basically it's going to be up to you how you are going to buy your materials okay so let me just introduce you to the gang aka everything that you will be needing with this diy of course the zip tie and you have your base right over here this is called a wreath your led rope light and what's good about this kit is that it already has a cord with it so some people love to buy extra extension cord just to make the cord longer but to me this is already enough and another thing that you will be needing since i wasn't able to show you guys what it looks like in the market is a tripod because i already have a tripod and the brand that i have is targus and you can get it at target but i would suggest for you guys to buy something from amazon because it's way cheaper and you'll be getting the same exact thing because the thing about me is that i don't like waiting if i can buy it in the store i'll buy it in the store also for example if there is a boo-boo in the light per se like if it does not turn on or if it shuts down like just the first week that i have tried it i can return it with convenience and you know it can get resolved in a very convenient way so another thing that you would need is a foil and you can just buy this at the dollar store and the purpose of this one is to have more reflection and so that the light will go towards you not like spread it like that i don't know if i make sense but you guys get the picture so i know a lot of people would rather use a cardboard box to support their foil however the reason why i am choosing a folder is because i want mine to be flimsy because i want it to pretty much cover or hover the wreath that we have if i make sense because if i'm gonna use like a cardboard it's just going to stick out like a whole ring but i want mine to look like it's wrapped around it kind of sort of so first we are going to measure it let me just remove this real quick 
so that we know the size two folders is actually enough and I have a sticky tape I'm just gonna connect them together And now what we're gonna do is, of course, to cut it. And now it is time for the foil. So first I'm gonna get like a large portion of it and then separate them in the middle. And I know this is gonna sound like super silly, but I'm trying to make it neat as possible. Some people would just, you know, you can do it whatever you're comfortable with, but I really like mine looking neat as I could. And with this one, I'm also facing the glossy part. And when you look at the foil, there's a matte part and then the glossy part. So I'm facing it with the glossy part as I put it on the rim that we have right now. So just complete the process. Complete the process. What I'm trying to say is that just do this all over the ring that we have. So when you are done, it is going to look like this again you can decide whether you want a folder or a cardboard I just want a folder because I want it to be flexible now it is time to put the LED rope light in the red and I want the other bulky what do you call this this extension cord on the other end at the back because I don't want a lot of bulkiness exposed so you can choose whether you want the power socket to be in the back or the extension in the back in this case I chose the extension to be in the back and then my electrical cord or power source is going to be up in the front where I can easily reach it but I think it would be better if I just put like the power outlet in the back but whatever I've already done it and <laughs> I just realized it when I was done so <sighs> so I'm just going to do this every rim that you see I will be putting a zip tie on that and for the second lap I am going to skip one rim so that it doesn't look like my ring light has like so much plaster of the zip tie in my if I make sense I think that just by doing that it's still secure but it also doesn't look like it's a mess it looks like it's gonna look like it's clean I will show you guys when it's done Now this is a part where I'm talking about me skipping one rim because to me having a lot of zip ties in the cord is you know kind of look messy but some people like it that way but I like this one better because you'll be getting the exact same tightness and security around it. It's just like to me it's less mess. Not really mess but you guys get the picture. It, it looks more clean. By the way, I truly apologize if I wasn't able to upload this early in the morning. Last night when I was transferring files from my DSLR, girl, I don't know what happened to me. I was just waiting for it and then I woke up 12 p.m. It's crazy. When you are done, you will have something that looks like this. See what I mean that it looks like super clean? That's your finished product basically. So some people like it like that and let's add the foil rim
And also, because I used a folder, my ring light doesn't look bulky as hell. It just looks like a really nice clean rim. Now let's move on to the part wherein we have to attach it with the stand. Now this is my tripod. I love it because it's totally matching my ring light. It is gray and I have some zip ties right over here. And you know that part wherein where you're trying to extend your tripod? It's like, it looks like the neck. I'm gonna call it the neck of the tripod. You are going to put some zip ties over that, like over and under, over and under. When you are done doing that, it is absolutely going to look like a weave. It is super secure and there is nothing to worry so about. So when you are finished, this is what it's going to look like. By the way, when you are cutting your zip ties, you might want to use a nail file for that to not make it less like ouchy. Well, I'm so good at describing parts, but it's going to get sharp when you cut it. But since I am covering it anyway with my foil loop, I'm not going to do that anymore because it's going to be covered. And there you have it. She's alive, girl. She's alive. Now I'm going to give you guys a closer look at the neck. I know it's not the proper term, but you guys know what i'm trying to mean so it's where the part where you can adjust it to make it even longer and i'm going to cut those you know other exposing wires and there you have it guys it looks super clean super nice and this baby is ready to go So that sums it up for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little DIY that we have created. To me, it is really nice. If you take photos, it's just like so Instagrammable. And it really, I love it. But in my honest opinion, it is actually not enough if you are going to like film videos like this. Right now as we speak, I still have all of my light bars open in addition to this ring light because you know, you can't really see all of the colors. So for picture purposes, it's really awesome. I totally recommend it. So it's gonna be up to you if you want your items a little bit less on what I have purchased. So that is all for today, guys, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!